Hello and welcome to today's math lesson. Today we will be representing subtraction using number bonds, pictures, and equations. Remember, equations is the math vocabulary word for number sentence. Here we have fill in the, what's the word? Equation and number bond. Cross out five dots. So we know that we need to cross out five dots. We are starting with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is our whole amount. Minus, that's how many we're going to cross out. It says cross out five dots. Here we go. One, two, three, whoops, four, and five. Five dots are crossed out. So seven minus five equals how many are left? Two, one, two, two are left. Now when we go to fill in our number bond, our whole amount is seven and our two parts are some dots were crossed out and some dots are left. So how many were crossed out? One, two, three, four, five. Five are crossed out, that's one part. And how many are left? One, two. And two are left. There we go. Let's see the next one. This one says draw seven dots, cross out three dots. So I'm going to have to make the dots. I've got it ready. One, two, three, four, five. Remember that's a five group. Five, and I want to keep going to seven. Six and seven. There we are, my seven dots. Seven is my whole amount. Now in the instructions, cross out three dots. One, two, let me move that one over a little bit. One, two, how many? Cross out three dots. You see how I go back to the directions to help myself remember what to do. Three dots are crossed out. So that means I subtracted three. Seven minus three equals the amount that is left, what is not crossed out. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Four dots are left. And then now when we go to our number bond, our whole amount is seven. And how many did we cross out? How many are left? How many did we cross out? Three. And how many are left? Four. And now our number bond is complete. We have a picture, an equation, and a number bond. Let's go to the next one. Draw seven dots in a five group like the first problem. Cross out four dots. So we're going to be making the five dots. Now the first problem, if we want to just quickly take a look, I'll move it up. They were in a vertical line, vertical, up and down. The ones I made here are horizontal, going across. So if the instructions say to do it like the first problem, 
we want to go vertical up and down. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, maybe I'll straighten that out a little bit, but it's okay if it's not so perfect. I have five. One, two, three, four, five. I want to make seven, six, and seven as our whole amount. Seven is our whole amount. See here we have, remember we called this one the Mickey Mouse number bond? So the seven, the whole amount is over here. And now we need our parts. We are crossing out four dots. One, two, three, four. We've crossed out four dots. That means we've subtracted four. And how many are left? One, two, three. Three are left. So our whole amount is seven, and here it is in the number bond. So now we need our two parts. What was crossed out and what is left? How many were crossed out? Four. And how many are left? Three. Great job. Good work. Let's take a look at the next page. Here again, it says, fill in the number sentences. What's the math word? What's the math vocabulary word for number sentences? Equation. So we will fill in the equations and number bonds. Let's take a look at this problem here. Put an X on three dots. Let's look at what we're starting with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is our starting amount. Put an X on three dots. Okay, count with me. One, two, three. We have just crossed off three. That means we have subtracted three. And how many are left? count. One, two, three, four, five. Five are left. So our equation is eight minus three equals five. Our number bond needs to also match the picture and the equation. Our whole amount is eight. How many did we cross out? Which is the number that lets us know how many we subtracted? Is it five or is it three? It's three. And that means the other part is how many are left. The amount without the X. And that is five. Good work. Let's do a few more. Here we go. This one says put an X on five dots, but we want to make sure we know how many we're starting with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're starting with eight. Put an X on five dots. Count with me and don't count faster than how I do it. One, Two, three, four, five. Put an X on five dots. Yes, I went back to just to make sure I'm doing the right work. Five dots, there we go. So we just subtracted five. Now let's see how many are left. One, two, three three are left. So now our equation is eight minus five 
equals 3. Now let's take a look at the number bond. Mm, this time the number bond is facing this way. So the whole amount is over here on the side, and then the parts are connected to it. So we have two parts. How many we X'd out and how many are left? So let's look. How many did we X out? One, two, three, four, five. We X'd out five. And how many are left? Three are left. Three. Do you notice how this equation, 8 minus 5 equals 3, is a lot like this one up here. 8 minus 3 equals 5. You see, if you have the whole number of 8 partners to make 8, one set of partners is a 3 and a 5. So you can subtract 3 and have 5 left or you subtract five and have three left. Let's take a look at this last one. Put an X on some dots, it doesn't tell us how many. Click on the equation, then we'll know what to do. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is our whole amount, eight minus, let's see what number is going to appear here. Hold up the number of fingers you think. What number are we going to have to X out this time? Ready? Six. We will need to X out six. Ready? Let's do that. One, two, three, Four, five, six. We've X'd out six, so how many are left? That's right, two. And let's fill in our number bond. We know our whole number is eight. How many did we X out? Six. And how many were left? Two. Fabulous. Now you know what time it is. Time for you to get a paper, pencil, crayons, markers, colored pencil, something for you to draw and write on so you can do some work on your own. Pause the video if you need to. Here we have the work that you are going to do. If you can pause the video and do it while seeing this on the screen, that's great. But if somebody in your family needs to have a turn using the tablet or laptop or TV, then perhaps a grown up can quickly jot down the instructions. Basically, you need to make sure you have a picture, a number bond, and an equation for each problem. The first one is that you draw eight and you'll put an X on one. The second, draw eight. X on 7. And the third one, draw 8. X on your choice. You decide. It's okay if your number bonds are facing different ways than what is here. And although it says draw 8 dots, it's okay if you want to try to use stickers or make triangles or squares or something like that, if you would prefer. Make it fun, make it interesting, see what you have. So if you can pause the video and copy things down, and then you get to work and have a wonderful, wonderful time. See you next time.